if you are not confident wearing your natural hair and you're one of those people that say natural hair is just not my thing natural hair doesn't look good on me then this video is for you yes this video is particularly for you what's up on billion gang it's divine and welcome back or welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time here don't forget to like this video physically and not emotionally i was about to procrastinate doing this video this video is going to be a very subtle edit i'm so stressed out i was thinking of procrastinating because i'm not done with my research i'm only going to talk about five people in this video this is one o'clock at night i was just about to like just give up and go to bed but i'm filming it i'm on a streak i've been posting yes so yes if you are one of those people that feel insecure wearing your natural hair you feel less confident wearing your natural hair don't feel bad because you are one of the many people you are not the first and most definitely i don't think you'll be the last so don't feel bad this video is going to motivate you and inspire you build your confidence wearing your hair so the first episode of this series i'm so proud i'm so proud so the first episode of this series i mentioned hair care and hair growth tips you can do to grow your hair long and thicker so you should definitely check out the first episode after this video so this episode is going to focus on confidence i'm also going to be saying hair growth tips because people have very long hair this episode is focusing on the influence and confidence in wearing your hair so even if your hair is very long and your hair is very thick but you don't have confidence in wearing your hair then you'll just be fake honestly the first person i'm going to be talking about is maraji a very popular content creator maraji is a comedian and content creator she was born in edo state yeah she's south south <laughs> and she's nigerian her real name is gloria olorinto you don't know me my name is gloria olorinto i'm popularly known as maraji she also studied international relations i, I studied international relations so anytime i see people that have similar things to my life i just feel like i relate to you i relate to you that's what my last episode when i said that um bevlinaya bevlinaya looks like me because people say we look alike like any bit that i relate to i just feel like oh i feel you i feel you <laughs> and most people last episode are nigerian so yeah i felt so proud <laughs> um i don't be yapping 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 because there's no time and i have to edit and upload it today she also graduated from a private university which i did actually in this video i said i never wanted school in private university but i went to a private university and i graduated i studied international relations so reading her story i was like oh i relate and she's like a content creator so you get me <laughs> maraji blew up on social media because of viral lip syncing videos do you guys remember musically if you know what musically is then you are the real gen z so at that time of um musically the period of music, the era of musically before tiktok she blew up for lip singing popular songs for my research i found out that it wasn't her who even posted the video that went viral it was her friend that posted it and when her friend posted it the video went viral so she's like wow this is a thing so she kept on doing that that, that was that's actually a talent she had at that time the first time i saw her on musically because she would lip sync she would literally lip sync like as if she's the one singing it it's also nice i can never forget those years so it was kind of like that era i came on youtube and people started doing this um cloning comedy skits like cloning comedy where they will be they will act as different persons so like twice a reme um you know them people just are coming up with this um, cloning comedy where they act as a model african parents series so she too she uh, she started making skits cloning skits where she would just she acts she was like literally most of her comedy is inspired by her parents because that is the way they treat her at home oh yeah i forgot she was born in Edo states she was raised in lagos that's why you have the mixture of her character <laughs> anyways she's currently married and she has two sons so what is marriage's hair growth secret so the first thing for sure which i literally have said because i have a video on my channel where i followed her tutorial i literally tried following her routine on my hair you should definitely check out that video later when you have time the first hair growth routine that maraji lives by is slick bonds she always she, in her video she said that you would see her in slick bonds like 360 out of 365 days in a year honestly she's not lying she's always she's literally almost always on slick bonds i'm like 
If there are 365 days in a year, I probably rock my hair 300 days in a year. The reason why she does sick bones because she has low porosity, medium density hair. She has very, very enhanced curl pattern like type 3C, type 4A. But her hair is very defined. So she slicks her hair and it's simple. It's something that she, she adapted into her lifestyle going natural. So it was very simple for her. She just has to slick it to gel and pack it backwards. Even when even when her hair could not pack all together in a bun at the back, she would use you know this um attach this um detachable puff. So she would stick her hair back, then put the detachable puff. She was, when I was researching for this video, she was talking about how in this video she was talking about how people hate their hair. People are not confident wearing their hair. They put their insecurities on others. There was this time she had an interview on channel television and she saw the comments of the um i'll try to check it i never check it when i was researching she wore her hair a natural hair for the interview and people in the comments came to the comments and were like why is she wearing a, a natural hair like is she deeper life like what is that what's that meant to, what's that what's that meant to me i'm sure there are some people that are watching this video that still have that mentality because I have a lot to say. Like that's the reason why in this video where I DM'd, I DM'd over 100 natural hair influencers and celebrities because I intend to work on a project. I'll sell a fix Zara. I intend to work on a project because the natural hair movement started out as to enlighten people to build their confidence, and that's why this episode is about confidence. They enlighten people to build their confidence to wear their hair. But next thing it became was a trend because of everybody's doing it. Oh, obviously. Natural hair is trending. Why not go natural? Many people, before the natural hair movement and confidence, like building confidence to wear their hair, many people tagged natural hair or virgin hair, virgin hair as they call it. They tagged it as the ugly hair, the unwanted hair. Even if you were to have natural hair, your hair should be loose. I know I'm going off track, but like, I really want to share this and buttress this because that's the, that's the essence of this video. Either way, when I was in high school, my classmate, one of my classmates, he had coily hair. And because of he had coily hair, in arts class, I was in humanities. Literally almost all the guys in my class wanted that coily hair. So they would relax their hair to be coily. They would perm their hair to be coily. Something that he already has naturally. They desired it. Same thing goes for skin or complexion or color. Before I go off track, those people in Maraji's comments were just buttressing their insecurities on her with them wearing their hair because i have met many people and she too when i was watching her videos for this video she said people are so insecure about their hair and that's why they will wear wigs but i'm never going to discuss about wigs because wigs wigs are good and they have their advan their pros and cons and she also said so in this video i could wear my hair like this how how i'm wearing my hair I could wear my hair like this and people will tell me I I think I've said on this channel before there was this time I wore my hair and one of my co colleagues in school like he was in mass com I was in international relations and this guy was like don't I have money or I don't have anybody to any boyfriend or any guy to give me money to make my hair like I never wanted to, I never intended to make my I would understand if oh I'm broke that's I'm wearing my natural hair at that time I wasn't broke I just wanted to wear my hair and he was like, don't I have money to make my hair? I know that's why I said I embarked on, last year I embarked on the no extension challenge because I wanted to like build confidence in wearing my hair because I myself, I'm also insecure. And that's why in this video on my membership, I talked about how that lady that said, um, don't bring your natural hair to my event. She's also insecure about her hair. And many people are, are like her because many people that are attacking her, they are also like her. And that's the reason why I'm bringing out this video. Many people are insecure about their hair. And I understand because I've, I've, I've been there. I'm still even working on it. Peer pressure is real. When you see people, when you see people um, with coily hair that is not as thick and tight as your own coil pattern, or people perming their hair, or people like, oh, why are you not wearing wigs? Or why is your hair looking like this? Or why, can't, why are your edges not laid? So I, I totally understand and I relate to that. Okay, I, I think I, I'm I'm rambling a lot. It really means a lot to me. And that's the essence of this video either way. 
you need to come out of your place of insecurities. When I realized that I, you know, heavily relied on wigs, I heavily, like heavily, I would not be able to go outside my gate without quickly, like, you know, putting a wig on my head. I felt like that was just how I could look good. Here I am today, rocking my natural hair. And for Maraji, that's what she said, and that's what she did. So she found out, found, she started learning how to care for her natural hair when she went natural. Because she was on low cuts. She was literally, when growing up, she was a tomboy. Do you know what a tomboy is? Like, she, she had to learn it. And even with her hair, she had to learn it. She had, with the fact that her hair was kind of thin, very thin. She has thin width of hair and thin, like, density, low density hair. So she, she learned to care for her hair. So apart from slick bonds, so, so that she can switch in between styles, because she knows that when she's doing slick, slick bonds, she's taking a lot of tension to her front, to her edges. She does braids. So she'll do these big braids so that her hair is stretched out and her hair is not just, all the tension is not just going to the back and her edges. So she'll do braids. And in this video, this hair care video that I made, that I told you guys how to develop your hair regimen. I told you guys, you need to learn how to braid. You need to learn how to twist. I'm going to talk more about that when I'm talking about Lupita. Another thing Maraji said is that you should you should just focus on the products that work for you. You don't need to have the whole the whole supermarket or a whole full closet. Just focus on products that work for you and stick to them. You should, when I did this video that I followed her routine, what she used to wash her hair was a a body a body scrub, a body um body soap, body gel. That's what she used for her shampoo. So just focus on what works for you. Learn as you go. And she also wears turbans. So if you see her, you'll see her wearing turbans. And when I did this video, I said that maintaining a sleep bone, you will have to wear a lot of turbans or scarf because of you, you want the hairstyle to last for long. And Maraji said she wears her hair like, not that she says, I know. She wears her hair like literally most of the time, and most of the time it's in a sick bun. Another tip I have for you, which I think I said in this last um, episode, is that middle part sick buns are very good, especially if you don't have edges here and here, because of the tension is not going to this side, it's just coming down, like you're brushing your head down here, so the tension is not like full back sick bun, the tension is like here, then here. I don't know if you understand the waves I'm drawing, but a middle part stick bun is good. Like I said so in this, this video, 24 hair growth secrets to grow your hair in 2024. So if you want to grow out your edges, you should definitely try that. Even if you are not wearing a slick bun, if you are doing Fulani braids or regular weaving, try doing a middle part. It will help retain length and reduce tension on this area. The thing I learned from this her definition video is that she always takes her time with her hair because she doesn't use combs on her hair, so she always takes her time to detangle her hair. Try to be gentle and take your time when you're doing your hair. If you don't have time to, get someone to. And if you are wearing wigs, which she also wears, make sure you are taking care of your hair under your wigs. Oh wow, I spent a lot of time talking about Maraji. I'm so sorry. I'm really so sorry. I'm I, I don't know. I'm very passionate about this topic when of confidence because it's a lot. I've, I've been there plenty of times because I, I wore my hair for one year and it was crazy. I experienced it a lot. So the next African hair celebrity is Lupita Nyong'o. So it was just this evening when I was researching, I found out the real pronunciation of her surname. I used to call her surname Yongo instead of Nyong'o. So Lupita is a Kenyan Mexican actress, very renowned, very known. Even if you don't know her from anything, you'll know her from Black Panther. You'll know her from Queen of Catsway, because that was the first movie I watched of Lupita, even though I had known her for years. I had known her as this, oh, this confident black actress. In short, I thought she was American, not Mexican. Hollywood actress that is beautiful, that has 4C hair. Like, that was just what I knew her for, honestly. Until I watched her as an Ugandan mother in queen of Catway. You definitely should watch that movie so lupita is a daughter of a politician they lived in mexico then they went back to kenya her parents told her to go to mexico to go and learn spanish for six months so at the age of 16 
she left Kenya to Mexico. She said she had always dreamed of acting at the age of five, but she actually landed her like major debut role in Romeo and Juliet. She was like fourteen, and she moved to Mexico when she was sixteen. Crazy. Let me not bore you with that history. Either way, her father is a politician. He was once a governor, a senator, a lecturer. Like she came from a good middle class background according to wikipedia um her name lupita was like gotten from mary the mother of jesus but like a traditional name but she's from the low people of kenya did i get it if you are kenyan please just let me know <laughs> okay well that's basic history of lupita you guys know lupita already i don't even need to say much she's an author she wrote a book about complexion the book is sulwe i don't know where i got the pronunciation sorry like i said i I always went right from when like i was like eight nine i've always known lupita as the hollywood actress that confident and like you see like different white actresses and you see her there like she's a dark person but she looks so beautiful she looks so confident she she just always looks so good she just like this radiance writing a book about complexion was very expected shelly in in this stereotypical u.s where she found herself because most people most africans don't really have to deal with race until they get to us or they get to a foreign country where they have to oh people are white here people are people come from races here like the us is from races so different races so they deal with race a lot what is lupita's secret so the first thing for sure you guys may not know about lupita is that she can corn roll braid and twist and when she was in university she would corn roll and twist and braid all her friends hair i went home for the summer and an aunt of mine who has a hair salon i went and asked her to teach me i learned how to corn roll and box braid and twist now i really enjoy braiding hair for my friends so she she actually wanted to cause when she wanted to braid her hair, she would not even braid her hair very well. So she decided to let it. Like, okay, she's going to take this as a side hustle. But it did not end up as a side hustle because most of the people that were her clients were her friends. So she will still do it for free for them. <laughs> Either way. But yeah, she knows how to do those three things. And most of the people in this list of um natural hair celebrities for this episode, most of them know how to do their hair by themselves. And it's a very good skill. And I already I, I keep saying that on my channel. It's a good skill to know how to do your hair for yourself. Even if you don't want to do it for yourself, for your children, woman, it would be so nice if you learn the skill. And you can pass it out, pass it on to your children. The next thing to take from Lupita is she said, learn to love your skin. Learn to love yourself. And she was like, thinking about this confidence doesn't come from appreciation from anybody. And like I told you, I wore my hair for one year. It was crazy because I'll get very, very funny, disgusting comments from people. Even myself, sometimes I'll look into the mirror and give myself nasty comments. But if you find yourself in the place of love for your hair, for your skin, for yourself, for your identity, you don't need someone's validation. You don't need validation from anybody because you already know who you are. And that's why knowing your identity is very important. Because if you don't know who you are, you can be swayed by anything. Somebody could tell you, if you don't know what you are, somebody could tell you you are shit. I'm sorry, this is YouTube. Somebody will tell you, tell you that you are rubbish and you will believe you are rubbish because you don't know who you are. But once you know who you are and you know where you are coming from, you can earn it. Even when, even if you have a big nose, even if your hair shrinks, even if your hair gets rough, easy, you know it. You know, okay, this is my hair. Yes, I know. I know my hair shrinks. I know my hair gets rough easily. I because I know it is my own. It is not yours. Like I know who I am. The more she has learned to own her skin and be in her own skin, the more she appreciates herself and she loves herself better. And you are confident. Like you will see somebody with confidence and the aura they carry is so different and somebody who is intimidated by who they are you will not and to be easier for you not to yield to peer pressure because of you know who you are and you know one beautiful thing about people that are confident in themselves they stand out and it's very obvious very 
obvious. You know how we seek validation from people and like I, I was giving the story about my classmates wanting to have coily hair like one of my classmates. Because of he he has confidence in his hair in his, himself people want to be like him if he did not have confidence in himself he would also be trying to be like another person so find confidence find identity and find love the last thing i learned from lupita that is like expression hair is expression i'm still going to talk about this when i'm talking about isari if you study lupita nyongo's if you study lupita nyongo's um Met Gala, red carpet outfits or hairstyles, you will see that she always expresses herself with her hair. You sure there was this time she she had a what's the name of the magazine? I think Glazier Glazier magazine. For the magazine shoots, she wore she wore her hair, she wore her hair packed off in a puff like back puff, slick puff, not bun. It was like a puff, but when they edited that magazine and they kept that because it was like she was like cover girl for the magazine when they edited it right after the editing they removed the puff of her hair i'm like these people they're out of this world though you see what i said there like people will portray their insecurities on you and make you feel bad for wearing what is on your head so her hair she had long hair she had puff i don't know why people and that's the reason why like i said to share growing african hair people make it look like as if african hair doesn't grow because of we have shrinkage she wore her hair in a puff and these people they edited out her puff they edited out the puff of her hair in that photo that just goes to say that people have their perception of what they expect natural hair to be this is the way it should look this is the way african women should look with their hair learn to express yourself with your hair lupita came for them big time if you are still watching and you made it to this part of this video please make sure you like the video physically please i beg you i really want youtube to push it to more people who actually need this video so the next african hair celebrity is isimeme edeko Formerly known as African Beauty, I'm a part of the beauty gang. Simeme is a very big inspiration to me when it comes to YouTube and content creation. When I started watching YouTube in like 2017-ish, when I joined YouTube and I did start a channel, she was the first YouTube channel I subscribed to. So before EC changed her channel name to, to her real name, she went with her monica she was the first youtuber that had type 4 hair so that's why i subscribed to her because most of that time when i started watching youtube most of the youtubers i came across compared to now that natural hair community is saturated most of them were people with coily loose textured hair so she was the first person i i saw at that time that had you know and her hair was like growing out long and she was styling her hair and she was on this journey so it was cool so i subscribed to her and i learned a lot from her hair growth journey has been a long time coming because she has been relaxing her hair most black people start off with relaxing their hair obviously like 2014 ish she was like trying to experiment whether she was still indecisive about going natural so like 2014 2015 ish she was just doing protein treatments, protein treatments, try to get the ends of her hair to curl back. But she just kept on doing those protein treatments and she saw that mm, these protein treatments are not working. So she did more research. So like because of she wanted to like care for her hair, she did more research. And when she did her research, she saw that she actually needs to trim those dead ends, those heat damaged ends out. Because protein treatment is not going to solve it. Remember in my last episode when I was talking about Priscilla Shera. She also went through that phase too. So she was she, she said in her hair care, in her hair growth journey video, she was talking about how she saw this clickbait video that said she doesn't need to trim it and she'll be able to grow her hair. And when she did her research, she found out that that was just clickbait. She actually needs to trim off heat damaged hair. And at that point, when she started her hair, the reason why she was contemplating going natural is because of the shrinkage. She didn't really like her hair at that time with the shrinkage. Just because of the shrinkage, because her hair would shrink and her hair would also have like very straight ends. So her hair wasn't looking so beautiful to her. So 
and she was not in her confident era. You know, this video is about confidence. She wasn't in her confident era. She felt so insecure with her hair. So she would constantly straighten her hair. Let's say she grew length after she like trimmed off those ends. She was, oh, I grew length. She will straighten her hair. And she, then she'll get into this face of, oh, my hair is shrinking. This shrinkage is not beautiful on me. And she would wear weaves, straighten her hair. Later, she saw Mali twist. Then she did her hair in a protective style, in Mali twist. And when she did Mali twist, she was like, oh, she carried a Mali twist for like one month. When she took down the protective style, she saw her hair grow. So she was like, hmm, protective style is good. So like, yada yada, 2016, she finally decided to go natural and like start a fresh journey. She wanted to have fun with her hair, so she colored her hair. Right now, the easy that I know will not even add any color to her hair, but at that time when she started, adding color to her hair made it feel fun. She did not have any heat damage from the dye. Later on, she got heat damage from straightening her hair because when she saw growth, that was that one thing I noticed from her. When she saw growth, she would stretch her hair. Like, oh, should I even still go natural? Let me just rock my hair straight. See, I know there are the heat training naturals out there. If you don't do your research before you go into that, you will end up with damaged hair. So if you want to do the heat training natural hair journey, please do your research. I've been I've been following Isi for a long time coming. I've been here when Josh was our best friend, so when he became our boyfriend, and now Josh is our husband. I'm so happy for them. Like I said, I relate so well to people that have type of my hair or similar hair types. So those are the people that I'm going to be making this series about because I want to reach out to those people because I know they are the people that deal a lot with securities and low self-esteem when it comes to their natural hair because compared to people that have loose textured hair, which they call the good hair, have the kinky hair, which is not the desired hair. And if you don't build confidence to wear your kinky hair, you are going to be fake and not enjoy your hair growth journey. And that's where Isi was coming from. Until she started learning to love her hair. She was like, oh, this hair is growing. She said, she said, she started doing YouTube 2016. She started researching more. She started doing hairstyles, working hairstyles with her hair. In short, she started wearing wigs. Companies would reach out to her. And when she wore wigs, so wait, 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 hold up. Her hair grew tiny weeks for one month wearing weeks that was when she said wearing weeks and she was like wow i think that was like 2017 another thing i wanted to note from ec's hair growth journey is that her protein treatment she saw that it was doing more damage than good to her hair because she was overdoing the protein treatment and it was because of she had done her research she realized that she was having breakouts fallouts from her hair because of she was having protein overload so instead of doing protein treatments every one to two weeks she shifted from one to two weeks to two to three months. And like I'm always saying, like if I'm to use anything that has like protein, or I would use, actually for the fact that I, I am low porosity, I would use protein treatments two to three months. Like I won't go more than that, except my hair was heat damaged or something. So you don't want to overdo it. Another thing I want to take note from from Isi's hair growth journey is that she was taking a lot of photos. This video right here is a 2014-2017 hair growth journey. And she was taking a lot of photos. And that's like I said, she, she was a big inspiration to me uploading hair growth content on my channel. My hair growth journey because that is literally recording my hair growth journey i know it's not everybody that is an influencer not everybody's an influencer but that's why this month's hair growth challenge is taking photos the 28 days of photos i am not the most dedicated to that challenge but at least i try at least try that's that's another thing i learned from repeater even though you might fail try try to take part so please if you haven't jumped on that challenge and you're not a member of the group chat, make sure you join the group chat. So record your journey, record the process. It will encourage you. And that was how she was able to learn and unlearn. 2017, she went one year without using heat on her hair. And I told you that she was constantly using heat to stretch out her hair, to blow dry her hair, to style her hair. But like 2017, she went the whole year without using heat. And she saw a major difference. And the growth and the health of our hair i have a video you can stretch out your hair without using heat i stated different methods you can use to stretch out your hair without using heat so make sure you definitely check out that video if you struggle with using heat on your hair and for something i noted down in my script if you have thick healthy hair 
and your hair is not growing long like you do all the natural hair practices because i think i got a comment like that and still your hair is not growing it means that you have hit a plateau it's either you have got to see your anagen face i just need something to help you break free from that or your hair is just in this growing stage so like when i started my hair it took me four months if not six months four to six months to be able to pack my hair in a puff and i want to encourage you if your hair is very full it is not going to pack in an instant like my bestie sister her hair wasn't as full as mine and it took her literally one month to pack her hair in a puff but it took me like four to six months to pack my hair in a puff because my hair is very big so don't compare your hair growth journey to another person's hair growth journey i'm sharing tips here but i want you to remember that this is your journey this is not my journey and that's what i learned from Issy. She was experimenting and trying out things, but to suit her journey. So she will learn this from this person then try to apply it to herself. Because most of the people she was watching at that time were loose textured naturals. But she will try to apply it and say, oh, this doesn't work for me. Oh, this works for me. I can keep this. I can stop doing this. So learn to suit your journey. So I really want to give a big shout out to everyone who commented on my last video. Thank you. I see you guys. And thank you guys. Big shout out to Katsi, the creator. Big shout out to everybody. I actually see the comments. Thank you so much for liking the video physically. And if you haven't already, this is your cue to like the video physically and not just emotionally. Thank you so much. The next African enthusiast is isare an actress she's a, an entrepreneur producer she's a writer she's a lot of things if you don't know her from barbie you know her from insecure if you don't know her from insecure you know her from quad black girl if you don't know her from awkward black girl you know definitely know her from two v2 i can't remember but i think that was the first movie i watched that i think she has senegalese origin diana origin she's rooted in la yeah she's american and she has African ancestral roots. And she's an award-winning actress. Is that not anybody on this list that you'd be like, oh, this person has very long hair, so I want to follow the person? No. She's one person on this list, just like everybody, that see her go from this to this because of confidence she has built confidence and she's now married her confidence shows from inside out and to her she's insecure and she does like she wrote that insecure movie i never really liked how the storyline was going so i'd not finish it like so i was going where i'd know i'm like what is in the car they go where i don't know because of she's awkward like she's an awkward like people in the room portray themselves as being oh bossy they have it all going and to her she was like she's not like that like she's actually an awkward person but she had to build her way from her awkwardness to confidence and the way she talks now the way she dresses now the people she meets now she has grown from her awkward face to her confidence face now coming back to her hair she was on twa when she started doing awkward black girl series and her hairstylist is a very popular African hairstylist, Fisher Leaderwood. That woman, she's very popular. Like that was one of the reasons why I wanted to go to GTCO Fashion Week. Because of her. She has a good hairstylist. And just Google Isare, no, research Isare on Pinterest and save mood boards because she has different inspiration of different hairstyles to wear with your African hair even if you don't use african hair with the braiding hair and just like the many others you can save isis name on your pinterest you can save lupita's name on your pinterest and you see different inspirations to rock your hair so yeah she's a co-founder of a natural hair care line sienna naturals i've not used their products before if you watch this video sienna naturals you guys you, you can reach out to me <laughs> She's very, very enthusiastic about African hair. In short, she studied African and Black American studies at college. So that's crazy. <laughs> so she's very, very African and Africanist. Like, yeah. And just like Lupita and Maraji, she, she was also like tomboyish, per se, per se, discovering her style, a sense of beauty and confidence. So yeah, I think three of them have that similarity so the next hair influencer or hair 
celebrity is Lindsay Chris. Now, I did a video a while back where I messaged over 100 African hair enthusiasts or celebrities. I'll try to link that video here. And she replied, like, she replied my message. I was also like, <laughs> okay, because so they spam Instagram account. And I'm so stunned, like, she replied. And she was really into what I was talking to her about. So she's a good one. She has a hair care line also. Hmm. Everybody's having hair care lines. I know many people want me to open a products line. But ha, I'm still thinking about it because everybody's opening product line. Like, I'm always not interested in what everybody is doing. So I don't just want to open a product line and it's not something I like. It's not something that came from what I love. There's no reason behind it. So right now, what I'm working on is not a product line. But if you guys want a product line, please let me know in the comment section. Yeah, she has a product line. And this product line came about from our research. So when she started her hair care journey, she was normal, normal story. She was relaxed and her hair wasn't really healthy. Her hair was damaged. Her scalp would get burnt. So she was like, mm, I don't know, most of these people on this list, most of <laughs> she started her own hair care journey to 2014, just like Isi. So she was like, 2014, she cut her hair. Like she just, she just cut it. Like she can't deal with this scalp damage anymore like so just a lot for her she cut her hair she do bantu knots overnight then next day she will lose it out and to leave this like bantu knot out and she'll wear it to work and people be like wow like i love your hair like who did your hair for you and she'll be like i did it myself and it encouraged her to like pursue a hair a hair care journey she was like she even wished like when she first started she took more photos but because she did not know this would be a thing so my dear, take more photos. I'm still saying it again. That's a big tip. Take more photos. So, yeah. What she said in her research, whatever she would do, because, like I said, she started from the kitchen. Oh, I did not say so. She started from the kitchen. Now I'm saying so. And I have a playlist on my channel where I said, grow your hair from the kitchen. Because that's literally stuff from natural things. Even Lupita, that's another thing I learned from her that I forgot to mention. She's a very natural person. From the farm to what she eats she's a natural person even what she wears when she's wearing stuff she tries to make it very natural as possible she just turned 41 the first of march <laughs> i'm going back to the peter let me go back to lindsay so lindsay is married and she has children and when she was in her research whatever she did on her hair she would try it on her children so like if it works on her hair she would try it for her children so that's why you see her children also have long hair and a big one for her was to learn your hair by yourself so keep researching by yourself and i like i think i've said that a lot in somebody else's part keep researching a lot for yourself for yourself and with time whatever you research for yourself you can use it to help others like i never had my mom do my hair for me like growing up so i had to research for myself and the research i made has helped her understand my hair not just her even though i know that she's still learning though my sisters they understand their hair better and you too that you're watching me behind the screen all my knowledge i am sharing to you i've helped you understand your hair better your knowledge is not just for you your knowledge is for people too so keep doing your research so she also said try to blend your routines to your lifestyle so when she started her hair she used to wash her hair every one week like every week or every two weeks so it was one week she shifted to two weeks then at the point when she got pregnant with her son it shifted from two weeks to one month and from there after one month has been sustainable for her because it's less manipulation and she can adapt that to her lifestyle being a mom that woman's hair is so long like her hair is very long and notable thing is that she doesn't use any hair extension in her hair she doesn't that's amazing she doesn't use any attachments any hair except no weaves no wigs like i've not seen her wigs she just wears her hair that's all so even if, if you are somewhere that is coming from a perspective where you only wear your hair and you are not allowed to use extensions or you personally are convicted not to use extensions, you can grow your hair, sis. I also want to note that she said that she takes a lot of herbal tea and she tries to eat as healthy as possible. And I've always said to you guys that herbal tea flushes your system and has a lot of benefits. So even Lupita, Lupita takes a lot of tea. So your, your skin 
and your hair generally goes together because your hair grows out from your skin so try taking herbal teas try to find a tea that you like and she does all the hair care practices that you guys already know by now like comb your hair in sections using a moisturizer when you comb all those things i don't start mentioning all those things you know them by now if you have been watching my channel and if you are not a subscriber make sure you subscribe so you can get notified when videos drop but one thing i also noted is that she said she never used bleach on her hair so she has never dyed her hair she has never bleached her hair her hair is like as natural as ever like you, you guys should check her hair her hair is natural right even when she wears protective style she says a protective style that styles that she can easily comb out she, she doesn't put tension in a protective style like i said she's wearing her hair like this year 100 percent of the time <laughs> no extensions so it has helped her hair because her hair is not competing with unwanted hair you want to grow your hair thicker and you're looking to growing bigger hair avoid extensions for a while and if you want to avoid it totally that's cool that's up to you <laughs> i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you like the video physically i've been ranting for a long time i hope my phone is still recording because there's a lot of footage to edit and i'm still going to try to upload it today please endure the editing i really hope you can listen to it when you're doing something or you're walking on the way if you have any hair celebrity you want me to feature in the next episode please let me know i'm going to try my best to be more organized with my research because now i have i i think i'll stick to only five people in an episode i think that would be better than having 10 people because it's just a lot researching on 10 people i really hope this video was inspiring to you and you have learned to know that you can rock your hair with confidence i don't let people to put, don't let people push their insecurities to you you are beautiful with your hair you are beautiful even when you don't have your hair you are beautiful just the way you are because you are wonderfully and fearfully made don't forget about that so if you want to grow thicker hair make sure you check out this video